Hi mate, it's Subaju still. Just some in the second assignment. Got the project open here and let's have a listen to your full track. Okay, so I'm just gonna change this here. There we go. Hope, uh, well, you probably got this figure out the last time as well. Good start here. Like those, uh, these ones here, these melodies, the chord or whatever uh, ping pong delay thing it is. Kind of nice and spacious. Nice additions here. This one's uh, sound really nice and speedy. You can maybe take them down just a little bit. So they're more in the background as a supporting element, but you know, still really audible. Kind of balances things a little bit. I like this as well here, these vocal things. You can maybe have a little bit of kind of like automation effect here with the cutoff. You know, kind of like, you know, change it a little bit. That way build it up a bit before the track kicks up with the sub pages. Nice there with, uh, uh, with the reverb clap or, uh, well, the reverb effect anyway. You could uh, maybe add a lifter there before that so that it kind of builds things up a little bit and then have the reverb clap there. Really big though. I like lots of these FX sounds here. You know, really nice. Bring a lot of space and uh, kind of depth to the track. We have a bass change here. You can maybe add a bit of reverb here to these sounds though. Well, mainly to this, this one here. That way, uh, you know, make it a bit smoother. Playing all the time and that uh, adds a little bit of spaciousness to the track. Like this core box here as well. Now where is this one kind of a kind of like a heavenly sound? It's this one. <laughs> it's not really a heavenly sound to be honest, but it sounds like you know some kind of a you know vocal sound, like a tribal uh, vocal tribal vocal sound. Thought it was really nice. Really kind of a dreamy feeling here. You could add some sort of a pad here or some kind of a bass line, you know, which would bring a little bit more uh, uh, kind of kind of like more uh, build up to the track. It will kind of glue the sounds together a little bit more. I wonder how it would uh, I explain it good, what I mean. Let me just try if I'll take a lead here quick. What it sounds like. Well, that doesn't work at all. Way too uh, rough. Uh, let's just try to go for a... Uh,
operator and then a basic yeah, so something like this for example You know, you could really understand the idea of what I mean. So, you know, there's something where you can hold on. And it gives a little bit of variation. You know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to leave it there on. But uh, anyway, that's the main thing. Because otherwise, this is a... It has really cool sounds to it. But these are really kind of... Uh, kind of like FX sounds just playing all around. So, uh... That way, with something like that, you would have a, kind of like a one bottom sound, which would uh, just support the other sounds really, but the listener could kind of hold on to that one sound and it kind of leads the track forward a bit more. You could also bring this in with some kind of a cutoff, for example. And like this. Like I kind of make the, uh, kind of like the building section a little bit smoother. Nice here, with this rising sound. A white noise coming in. Nice kick off there. Maybe you could have built up a little bit more of this, uh, you know, add some kind of a spacious sound there so it kind of builds it up a little bit better. But I like the kick off here, sounds really nice, really deep and good speed here again. You can also think about, you know, fading this one sound here. Like this one, you know, make it make it a bit more cut off occasionally. And same thing with with this one here, you know, we play a little bit with the cut off. You know, maybe make it a bit like like more cut off here, and then bring it in later on here. That way again, kind of. Although there's not much variation, but that's a little bit of variation and that way your track kind of progresses a little bit more. I'm gonna go forward here a little bit. And keeping the bass lines on the same note here. You also uh, use sidechain quite well here. There's a little bit more of the space to the kick drum, which is always good. I like the riser pad as well, you know, the pitch pad sound. And then kind of go into the outro here. Nice there with the reverb effect. Yeah, overall a uh, really good job. I uh, definitely uh, like your track, has a uh, really good potential to it. Uh, try to look into the breakdown, into those uh, points that I uh, well, mentioned there. Also, uh, see if you can add some kinds of uh, longer lifters here every now and then. They don't really need to be all that loud, but something just so that you get a little bit more spaciousness and make the transitions a little bit smoother. Just kind of add a bit more air to the track, basically. Uh, let's see about the mastering here. Saw that you had uh, quite a good looking mastery already. You got the multiple compression on and the EQ8 here. Not gonna be changing these at all because I uh, like 
the way the track sounds like and I think uh, it's you know, quite well mixed. Uh, we can leave this on here. I never really add any high cuts to my tracks. Uh, as long as you don't increase this, you know, have something like, you know, this here. Sorry, whoops. The other way around, something like this. Then, you know, you can just leave it on there on an evenly like that. Uh, but this looks good here, sounds good, limiter looks good and your track sounds clean and uh, yeah, don't really have uh, much else to uh, give uh, tips wise at the moment. Uh, I want to thank you for taking the course with me, I hope I've been able to help you out with your uh, project, teach you uh, some new tips and uh, you know, give you, uh, give you tutoring on the things that you need and uh, you can stay in touch with me, we are on Twitter and Facebook, uh, I'm registered to both as Tempo Juice still. Uh, but I'd like to wish you all the best with your future works. Keep up the great job. I'm sure uh, with this kind of stuff, you will get some uh, tracks signed to some, uh, you know, deeper house labels and stuff like that. Mm -hmm.